for now, an update just now out of the CDC on the vaccination pace. And it is slowing a little bit, at least from yesterday. The new numbers show that we have distributed now 17 million uh, vaccine doses in the U.S. We've administered 4.8 million of them. Now, that's about 28.4 percent. Yesterday's update was 29.5 percent. So we're not going in the right direction yet. If you look nationally, Israel still way far out ahead in terms of the percent of its population. It's vaccinated almost 16 percent now. United Arab Emirates, uh, a new entry now, a uh, second place with more than 8 uh, percent. Bahrain, U.K. and the U.S. following. Uh, those numbers from the U.K. and the U.S. a little bit out of date, but the U.S., you know, with these numbers at 4.8 million, that's about one and a half percent of the population. So what is Israel doing right or what have they done right in the initial rollout? Well, they have got a strong community health system. A lot of this is very centralized. They've got a national vaccination registry that they established years ago, and it's all digitized, so everything goes into it, and they can track people really well. They're also doing simple things like repackaging the Pfizer vaccine, which comes in packages of 975 doses, into smaller shipments. We talked with Dr. Itamar Grotto from the Israeli Ministry of Health about what is working there. Here's what he said. We have a very strong community health system, which is uh, well organized. It's all public. There are four HMOs in Israel who are responsible for the entire population, and they are, according to the national health law, they have to supply services to every citizen. And guys, it's not perfect. They are running into supply issues now in Israel and also questions about covering everybody in the region, including Palestinians. Uh, but this, as Israel now has entered a new lockdown, just like the UK has as they detect this new, more contagious variant, uh, and they are racing the variant, really trying to get the vaccine out as they really lock down the economy. Guys. You know, it's a fascinating, Meg. I mean, so many people now are saying, why can't whatever we do with the flu shot, can we just do the same thing with that? I mean, there, there's a lot of questions, but I also want to come back to you on what we were just speaking with Brian Belsky about. I mean, it's a little early, a little speculative to ask the question, but if investors are asking it, I wonder, do you hear any chatter about the prospect of the U.S. doing a national lockdown of sorts, uh, you know, maybe in the next few weeks if, if our numbers look as bad as they're looking in some other countries? Well, it'd be surprising if it happened in the next few weeks before a change in administration, because that has just been so against what we've been hearing from the current administration in terms of the approach here. And it is so politically untenable. You even, you know, hear uh, folks in the Biden camp really staying away from talking about overall shutdowns. Uh, but of course, there has been discussion of if you can provide the economic support uh, for businesses where, you know, there is the risk of spread um, for those businesses to shut down, would we see something like that? Those kinds of things have been talked about, but it is not something that I'm hearing now, you know, this is definitely going to happen as soon as there's a change in administration. However, you are seeing countries react that way when they detect this new variant, and we have detected this new variant in several states now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.